Hello everyone and welcome to Jacklet Educational Channel. I am Zaki Ahmad and this is the fifth lesson which is the continuity of our fourth lesson for environmental chemistry. So in the fourth lesson we should recall that we learned about molarity that is number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter. So now we will learn about normality. What is normality? So there is a relation between normality and molarity. So normality is equal to the molarity multiplied by z. So what is this z? ये z होता क्या है? तो z को normality के terms में कहते हैं variance factor. तो ये variance factor क्या होता है? आइए जानते हैं. तो ये जो variance factor होता है, हर किसी अलग-अलग chemical के लिए अलग-अलग होता है values का. So ये क्या होता है? Acid के लिए different होता है और base के लिए different होता है. तो आइए देखते हैं कि acid को example लेके देखते हैं कि उसका variance factor क्या है. For example HCl लेंगे और variance factor को हम एसिड के लिए कहते हैं बेसिसिटी सो एचसीएल का वेरिएंस फैक्टर क्या होगा कि वो कितना एच प्लस आयन डोनेट कर सकता है वो है वन इट कैन डोनेट वन एच प्लस आयन सिमिलरली फॉर द केस ऑफ एच टू एस ओ फोर द वेरियंस फैक्टर विल बी टू एज इट कैन डोनेट टू एच प्लस आयन एंड फॉर एच एन ओ थ्री दैट इज नाइट्रिक एसिड द वेरियंस फैक्टर विल बी वन फॉर एच थ्री पी ओ फोर द वेरियंस फैक्टर विल बी थ्री नो इट इज टू बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू इट स्ट्रक्चर मोलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर इट कैन डोनेट ओनली टू एच प्लस आयन सो नाउ विल सी फॉर बेस तो बेस के लिए जो वेरियंस फैक्टर होता है उसे कहते हैं हम एसिडिटी तो याद रखिएगा एसिड के लिए वेरियंस फैक्टर को बेसिसिटी कहते हैं और बेस के लिए एसिडिटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सो वेरियंस फैक्टर विल बी वन एज इट कैन गिव वन ओ एच आयन फॉर के ओ एच द वेरियंस फैक्टर विल बी ऑल्सो वन Similarly, for MgOH whole two, it can give two OH ions, so its valence factor will be two. So, if question me aaya hai, to find out the normality of KOH, so simply hume kya karna hai? So you have to multiply its molarity into the valence factor that is one. Similarly, if in question it is asked for MgOH whole two normality, so we have to multiply the molarity into two, that is its valence factor. So the two times molarity will be its normality. So I think. Your normality concept is clear. Now let's come to the next part of the environmental chemistry. So abhi hum padhenge acid base ke baare mein. So we all know that acids are sour in taste and base are bitter in taste. But kya humko ye important hai net ke point of view? No. So the importance is this question came in environmental science examination. And the question was identify the species out of the following which is not a Bronsted acid but is a Lewis acid. So let's see what is Bronsted acid and Lewis acid in this chapter. So the most important thing about acids and base are their definition. So they are important because there are three important definitions for acid and bases. One is Arrhenius concept. Next is Bronsted and Lowry concept. Third is Lewis concept. So let's see what is Arrhenius concept. Arrhenius concept was given in 1887 in which it stated acids produce hydrogen cations. Or hydrogen ions when dissolved in water. For example, when HCl is dissolved in water, it gives H3O plus and Cl minus. So this HCl gives hydronium ion. It is proved that it is acid according to Arrhenius. Next is bases produce hydroxide ions when dissolved in water according to Arrhenius concept. For example, sodium hydroxide when dissolved in water gives Na plus and OH minus that is hydroxide ions. So this accordingly aqueous solution means that liquid that have molecules dissolved in water. So the main thing is Arrhenius definition the acids and bases when are dissolved in aqueous solution. Next comes the Bronsted Lowry concept which is developed in the year 1923. So according to Bronsted Lowry concept acid wo hota hai jo hydrogen ion ko donor karta hai jo donate karta hai ya fir proton ko. Similarly base kise kehte hai? जो हाइड्रोजन आयन को एक्सेप्ट करता है दोज विच आर एक्सेप्टिंग द हाइड्रोजन आयन नॉट डोनेटिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल एच सी एल वेन एच सी एल रिएक्ट विद वाटर इट फॉर्म्स एच थ्री ओ प्लस एंड सी एल माइनस सो फ्रॉम एच सी एल वन हाइड्रोजन आयन इज डोनेटेड एंड सी एल माइनस इज फॉर्म सो इट डोनेट्स वन एच सी एल सिमिलरली फॉर एमोनिया दट इज एन एच थ्री वेन इट रिएक्ट विथ वाटर One H plus ion is added. That is, it accepts one hydrogen ion and it is formed NH four plus. That is, hydrogen acceptor is base according to Bronsted Lowry concept. Next thing is 
एसिड्स एंड बेसिस ऑलवेज कम इन पेयर सो वट डज दिस मीन आइए देखते हैं इसका मतलब क्या है ब्रॉन्स्टेड लॉरी कॉन्सेप्ट के हिसाब से सो दिस ब्रॉन्स्टेड लॉरी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एसिड एंड बेस कम इन पेयर मीन इट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कंजुगेट एसिड एंड कॉन्जुगेट बेस सो आइए देखते हैं क्या है वो सो ए कॉन्जुगेट बेस इज द चार्ज पार्टिकल ऑफ द ओरिजिनल एसिड After it donates its hydrogen ion. So we'll take an example. So it is the original acid. Let's take as HCl. When it's react, it gives H3O plus and Cl minus. So acid is HCl. That is the original acid. So when it donates the hydrogen ion, it forms Cl minus. So Cl minus will be its conjugate base, according to the definition. Because after donating H plus, it becomes Cl minus. Similarly, conjugate acid is the charge particle of the original base. Here it is base after it gains its hydrogen ion. So here we can see if, for example, we are taking ammonia NH3 as base, that is original base. So when it gains one hydrogen ion, so it becomes NH4 plus. As I have said, it has gain H plus ion. So the conjugate acid for the original base NH3 will be NH4 plus. So there is an interesting thing in this reaction. In first case, we will see the H2O that is water has accepted one H plus and become H3O plus. So here it will be base according to bronsted lowry theorem and H3O plus will be its conjugate acid according to the bronsted lowry concept. So in next case, let's see what is H2O here. Here H2O has acid ka role play kya hai. Why? Because it has lost one H plus and the OH minus will be its conjugate base. So here we can see the water has played the base role in the first case and the acid role in the second case. So this nature is called amphoteric nature. So I hope you know that the meaning of the pair is in the Bronsted and Lowry concept mein, that acid and base come in pairs. Next we will see about Lewis acid and bases. So what is this concept of acid and base? So it is focusing on the donation or acceptance of a pair of electrons during a chemical reaction. So one pair of electrons, if someone is accepting, it is termed as Lewis acid. So here if some compound is accepting two electrons, that is one pair of electron, it will be called as Lewis acid. Similarly, kisko Lewis base kahenge? So electron pair jo donate karega. So for example, in this orbital, someone is donating two of its electron, then it will be considered as Lewis base. Next, it is the concept of neutralization that is very easy, I think you everyone knows. So a chemical reaction between acid and base produces salt and water. So salt ka matlab yaha pe hai ionic compound. For example, HCl acid plus sodium hydroxide base gives NaCl that is salt solution of NaCl and water. So let's revise what we have studied in this class. So acids according to Arrhenius are those compounds who are giving H plus in aqueous solution and those who give OH minus in aqueous solution they are Arrhenius base. Similarly according to Bronston Lowry the H plus donor are acid and H plus acceptor are base and according to Lewis concept who accepts electron pair is acid and those who donate electron pair they are base. So now I think easily you can answer this question. Please comment the answer of this question. Here we come to the end of the fifth lesson of environmental chemistry. So those who are new, please like, share and subscribe my channel. And link for the first four part of the series is given in the description.